How to use the basic functions of a graphing calculator. Going from a pocket calculator to a graphing calculator can be as daunting as going from a skateboard to a car. Make the jump and learn the basics of using a graphing calculator. You will need a graphing calculator and an understanding of the order of operations. Step 1. Turn on the graphing calculator by hitting the on button and turn it off by holding down the second key and pressing the on button. Step 2. Lighten and darken the screen by pressing the second button and simultaneously pressing either the up or down arrow. Step 3. Use the multiple functions of the buttons. Press a button to use the function written on the button and hold the second key while pressing a button to use the function written above the button. Some graphing calculators also have a third function that can be accessed by holding down the alpha key while pressing the button. Step 4. Access the calculator's menu by pressing the button labeled Mode. Then move the cursor with the arrow keys, pressing Enter to change settings. Step 5. Type equations on the main screen the way they would look if you were writing them and press Enter to display the answer. Follow the order of operations when entering equations. Use parentheses to break up the equation in the order each part should be solved. Operations inside parentheses are completed first. Step 6. Erase unwanted items on the screen by hitting the clear button. Step 7. Graph an equation by pressing Y equals. Then type the equation and press the graph button. Step 8. Adjust the picture of the graph by pressing the window button. Adjust the values of the X and Y axis and the X and Y minimum to show key aspects of the graph. Did you know Casio produced the world's first graphing calculator, the FX7000G, in 1985?